welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a video on this look right here it's going to be a get ready with me using all different types of products i'm going to share some of my tricks with y'all if you would like to keep watching please give it a thumbs up and let's just get started i got my cold brew coffee here i'm ready to go so first we are going to start with eyes i'm going to prime my eyes with the tarte shape tape and if at all i am looking down it's because i have a mirror here i'm trying to watch myself in the viewfinder but it might be a little difficult the thing i always do before i go in with eyeshadow is i set my eyes with a translucent powder and this is the one i'm going to be using today on my face it's the laura mercier it is the translucent powder all right so for eyes today we are going to be using the tarte toasted palette i am so excited i actually got this yesterday because they were having a huge sell on it it was only 29 dollars. so here's what it looks like it has a good variety of mattes and shimmers i'm so excited I went back and forth on getting this palette because I was like, do I really need it? Um, is there anything in it that I don't already have? And really there's not, but it's just so pretty and I just had to do it. First, let's see, I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is S'more. And I'm just going to go over the translucent powder that I just set my eyes and set it again. And then I'm going to be taking the second shade on the last row, which is Latte and I'm going to be putting that in my crease. And one thing I like about these so far is they are super pigmented. And if you want me to be completely honest, this is the first time that I have used a Tarte eyeshadow palette. I think I'm going to use this shade next, which is cozy. I don't know, I'm going between cozy and toasted, or warm. It's definitely not toasted. Okay, we're just gonna do cozy. And I'm still going in with the same brush. This is a Morphe brush, and it's just a fluffy one. Whoa. Talk about pigment. So I'm focusing this on the outer corner of my eye, but I'm also going to be bringing it all the way across. Just whenever I'm running out of most of the product, I'm going to be bringing it forward to the inner corner. Just like that. Now I'm going to go in with a more, let me just get my variety of brushes. I'm going to go in with a little more precise brush. I'm going to be taking this one. And I would tell you the numbers, but it came in a set and there's not any, but it is also Morphe. And I'm going to be using this shade right here, which is Fireside. And these are so pigmented that I'm just going to be stamping this in the very outer corner of my eye. Now I'm gonna be going in with the first fluffy brush that we use that has, I'm not putting any more product on it, I'm just using what's left over. And I'm just gonna be running across the edges just to make sure everything is soft and blended. No harsh lines. Okay, so I'm wanting to use a shimmer shade out of here, but I also have this Tarte Chrome Pot, and I love this shade. It is top y'all. So I'm just going to take a flat synthetic brush, if I can find it. Here it is. Okay. And this is actually one of my mascara brushes. It is the multitasker brush. So I'm going to go in with flame and first I'm just going to be using this with a dry brush to see how it works. I'm 
So I picked some up and I'm going to use this Coconut Rose Toner by Capari. I love, love, love this stuff. Why is that not focusing? So we're just going to see if this makes any difference. But I can already feel some fallout, so this just makes me feel like it is a little more secure. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with the second brush we used for the darker shade. And I'm just going to blend those two together. So this is a chrome paint pot. Top Yacht, it is my favorite one. I love it so much. This is what it looks like. It is like the perfect lid shade. And I like to use my finger. A lot of times if I'm doing like a cut crease, I'll use my finger and I'll have to use a brush to pack it in closer to the closer to the um, the crease part. But we're just going to see. I'm just dragging this on the inner part of my eye. And then I'm going to barely, barely tap over just the line of the middle shade just so it's blended. I'm going to go back in with the first brush we used just because I did get a little messy up there on the top. Okay, so to prime, I'm going to be using two different products. First, I'm going to, you can see it. It is by Cover FX, it's the Blurring Primer, and I'm just going to use about a pea size amount and I'm just going to be putting this where I have pores. The rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Glam Glow Glow Starter. Here's what it looks like. It's an illuminating moisturizer, but I have combination skin so I can get away with just using this as a primer. Um, but I definitely like to set my pores first. And this stuff, y'all, I'm not kidding, it smells so good. It smells like bubblegum. And I like this because I love the illuminating look with my foundation. And this just helps you get that. Alright, so for foundation today, if y'all follow me on Instagram or Facebook, then y'all know that I have been loving this Joy Essentials foundation. That's what it looks like. It is a high coverage cream foundation. It says to shake well. It's kind of a more liquidy product, but such this like the smallest amount goes so far. I love it. And it does have 0.68 fluid ounces. So I was afraid that I would run out of it pretty quick, but it's been lasting a while. So I'm just using this and I'm gonna do one, two. We're gonna see how far that'll go. Picked up that much. Let me just show y'all. Just watch, just be amazed. Cause y'all can see all the redness that I have going on. All the uneven skin tones. All the freckles, just all the things that we wanna hide. And just look at that. face looks really yellow in this camera but I promise you it's not and so today I'm going to be using the Hoola quickie contour stick looks like this and I broke this so I have to be like extra careful probably really just need to go get another one and I'm just going to blend that out with this mascara brush. I think this is the detail hack brush. I'm using this flat and then for my concealer this is a little um, duo that I have been liking lately. It is the Flower, Be Flower Beauty Light Illusions Full Coverage Concealer. I like to use that one and then again my Tarte Shape Tape. So first I go in with the Flower Beauty. It's in the shade Light. And then I'll go in with just a little bit of my shape tape 
just because, and this is in the shade Fair Neutral, and I just put a little bit into the corner just for a little bit more of a brightening look. And then we're going to go back in with a setting powder, and again, we're going to be using the Laura Mercier. I have been loving this powder here recently. And I'm not exactly going to bake, but I'm going to use my sponge to just press this powder in. Hello? 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 And then next we're going to do some bronzer and we're going to be using this bronzer by Anastasia and it is in the shade Rich Amber. Sometimes I feel like this is a little too red tone for me but I don't know, I kind of like it. Go in with contour and I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro contour palette. It looks like this and my camera is dying. Are you joking? <sighs> of course. So I'm going to be going in with this shade right here. It's the medium contour. And it's just going to be adding a little bit of definition to our bronzer. And then at, while I still have this out, I'm going to go in with the light contour and I'm just going to get a little angled brush and contour my nose. Whoa! I'm going to go do some brows, charge this camera a little bit, and I'll... Okay, so we are back and we are going to get this face finished up. So I went ahead and did my brows and popped on some lashes. For my brows, I used this Anastasia Brow Pomade and it is in the shade ebony and then for lashes i popped on these ardell wispies these are the demi wispies and i just apply them with some duo glue and i'm going to be using the milani baked blush whoa in the shade luminoso I will. and another thing we're going to go ahead and do um while we finish up everything is go in again with some of that loose translucent powder and I'm just going to get some on the angled end of this sponge. And for highlight, I'm going to be using two different products. First, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly, Beverly Hills and Amrezy. I've been going back in with that Tarte Chrome Pot. And I have just been dabbing in with my finger just a little bit and then dotting it on and then taking a clean finger and blending it out. I'm going to go back in with a powder brush and I'm just going to dust away this and I'm also going to run over my contour and blush and highlight just to make sure there's no harsh lines. I'm going to go back in with our eyeshadow palette and do the lower lash line so I'm going to be taking this pencil brush by Morphe and let's see first I'm going to go into latte which is the color that we used in our crease and I'm just going to apply that from the outer to the inner I'm going to go in to cozy which is the second shade and I'm just going to put that on the outer edge. I think I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of that eyeshadow palette. And to highlight our inner corner and brow bone, I'm also going to go in with the Anastasia Amrezy. And one more thing I'm going to do before I do mascara is I like to set my makeup first because my lashes are really long and they tend to run under here and I just don't like that. And Kapari rose water no coconut rose water i'm going to use this Too faced better than sex waterproof 
her top mascara just to um, connect my real lashes to the falsies. I'm going to be using Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. Looks like this. Alright, so for lips today, I'm going to be using two different products. I'm first going to be using this lip pencil by Bite Beauty. So then I'm going to top it with this liquid catsuit lipstick by Wet n Wild. So here is the final look from today's Get Ready With Me. If you like videos like this, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any future requests, please put them in the comments below. And do not forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!